scientists at Queens are working on treatments and vaccines to try to help us all. of going to Queen's, um, so I was quite shocked when they <laughs> accepted me. I had a brilliant time, I made loads of friends. A lot of the stories I write about now came from that time. is one of important partners of BIT in Europe. I'm also honored to be associated with the Institute that seeks to address the global challenge of building a peaceful, secure, and inclusive world. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Professor David Jones and I am the Pro Vice Chancellor for Education and Students at Queen's. I warmly welcome you all to this virtual event before our new students take up their place at Queen's towards the end of this month. Starting university is a very special milestone, not just in the lives of our new students but for you as their parents and guardians. As the world starts to emerge from the pandemic, we are conscious of the anxiety and uncertainty our new students may be facing as they progress with their education. And this also impacts their parents and guardians. Throughout the past 18 months, our main priority has always been the safety and well-being of our students, staff, and the wider Queen's community. We have been working hard behind the scenes to plan ahead and are committed to delivering a world-class, authentic experience for all our students. This includes delivering a connected learning approach, providing as much face-to-face -face teaching as possible, complemented by online delivery as necessary. We are asking all of our students to sign up to a campus community pledge to ensure that we all conscientiously do our part, behave with integrity and in line with the core values of the university, treat each other with respect and adhere to public health guidance to help protect ourselves and members of the wider community from the spread of infection. This academic year may look a little different to other years, depending on relevant health guidelines. But through this virtual event today, I hope you will find clarity and reassurance on the types of experiences our new students can expect when they join Queen's. Some of you may already be familiar with Queen's. For others, this may be your first tour of our beautiful university, albeit in a virtual manner. I'm sure you will agree that we have an impressive campus. Some would say it reminds them of Hogwarts from Harry Potter. We look forward to welcoming you onto the campus in the near future. This is a new chapter as our new students branch out into their independence of university and student life. A time full of mixed emotions, and as a parent who has been in your shoes, I understand that. I think as parents, we all will remember whenever we bring our own child to university for the first time, and I certainly do and it's a very emotional period. This is a time of transition for you as well, and that's why we know how important events like these are, and especially this year, we know it is important that parents and guardians know our students will be safe and looked after. This event will also give you the opportunity to hear from some of the staff who will be in hand to support and encourage them during their time with us. A university education allows us to discover ourselves, the world around us, and the many contexts we find ourselves in. Our approach to education at Queen's isn't solely about unlocking our students' academic potential. 
It's also about making sure that they are equipped with the employability, innovation, and enterprise skills they need, and that future employers want and to become the global citizens. This is why Queen's is ranked 13th in the UK for graduate prospects, and that's the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2021. Not only are our students educated by academic experts who are the best in their field, but they also have the opportunity to gain the confidence, knowledge and skills to be our leaders of the future. They will be presented with opportunities every day. Academic opportunities, volunteering opportunities, sporting opportunities, international opportunities, and so many more. Again, this is why Queen's is ranked 11th in the UK for career prospects after 15 months. And that's from the Guardian University Guide 2021. I can assure you that we will play our part in giving them the support they need to seize these opportunities and make the most of their Queen's experience. Queen's is a world-class institution supporting outstanding students and staff working and learning in state-of-the-art facilities and conducting leading-edge research which is focused on the needs of our society. And we are very proud of that. As a university, we have invested heavily in our student experience. That investment has placed us ninth for university facilities and 24th in the UK in the Times Higher Education Student Experience Survey 2018. You will see from the video tour of campus how that investment has created outstanding facilities. You will shortly get the chance to see some of them. Our iconic Lanyon building, which was designed and named after Sir Charles Lanyon and opened in 1849. The award-winning graduate school, which is home to our thriving postgraduate community, and our state-of-the-art Maclay Library. These are just some of the developments that have taken place in recent years, which also include a new computer science building on the Malone Road, the Welcome Wolfson Institute for Experimental Medicine, and significant investment in our sporting facilities at Upper Malone and the Physical Education Centre. And that's not all. We have modern, purpose-built student accommodation schemes in Belfast City Centre, and we are set to open our new state-of-the-art student centre in 2022, which will consolidate all our student services under one roof, including our students' union, spaces for our clubs and societies, bars, shops and entertainment areas, as well as our student well-being and advice services, student support and careers consultancy, to name just a few. I would now like to invite you to enjoy a virtual campus tour, which will give you an insight into our beautiful university and what the next term will look like for our new students. Hi, I'm Katie Clara, and I'm the president of Queen's Students Union. Today, we're going to take you on a tour of our lovely campus here at Queen's. First of all, welcome to our iconic Lanyon building. This design can be seen across the city and was designed by Sir Charles Lanyon. Across the road is our brand new Students' Union building. This building will be opening in June 2022 and will have state-of-the-art facilities for our new students coming in. We're so excited that incoming first years will be some of the first to see our brand new building. Across there, we have our Student Guidance Centre. This is a centre in which our students can find all the support and services they need to help them during their time at university. From mental health and wellbeing services to disability services, help with finance, everything's housed in that one building. Over here is the Whitlaw Hall. You'll need to remember this building because this is the building where your children will be graduating in just a few years time. Just through here is our black and white hall. This is the main reception for the university. Come on with me. In here is our welcome centre. This is where you can find loads of merchandise and gifts. And upstairs is our Naughton Gallery, which is a range of exhibitions all year round. This is the quad, and this is where students can come to sit, have a laugh with their mates. And at the moment, there is an art exhibition ongoing. Mm -hmm. 
This is Junction, one of our many food places and coffee shops on campus. There's a load of places for students to sit in, grab a coffee and meet their mates. And there's something for every budget and every food taste. This is our graduate school. This is a dedicated space for our postgrad and international students to socialise and to study. For film buffs and those who love the movies, Queen's has its very own independent cinema, showing movies seven days a week to suit every range of tastes. This is the School of Music. This is the Maclay Library that was opened in 2012 by Seamus Heaney. Upstairs on the first floor we have the C.S. Lewis room, which has glass engravings of quotes of C.S. Lewis and has a replica of the wardrobe door from The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. We've just arrived at Queen's PEC, which is the home of Queen's Sport. Come on in. Queen's Sport is one of the leading providers of sports and leisure facilities in Ireland. Queensport has state-of-the-art facilities, including fitness suites, a 25-metre pool, a diving pool and outdoor training facilities. So ten minutes up the road, we have our Queen's accommodation, which we'll show you clips of now. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour. We're really looking forward to welcoming you at Queen's. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of our world-class facilities on campus and got a flavour of what the Queen's experience is all about. It is easy to see why Queen's is ranked one of the top 10 most beautiful historic universities in the UK, and that's from the QAS World University Rankings 2021. I would now like to invite you to the interactive part of this session. On the website, you will find links to live chat rooms where members of university staff are waiting to answer any queries you may have. The interactive sessions will be live for one hour until 3.30 p.m. today, and you can visit as many rooms as you wish during this time using the links on the website. There is a maximum capacity of 300 users in each room at any one time, so if the numbers are too high and guests are experiencing quality issues, you should leave that room and return at a later time. The raise hand button should be used if you want to talk or ask a question 
or you can use the chat box instead. If you're not speaking, please mute your computer microphone to avoid feedback. Before I finish, I want to assure you that we will do our part to ensure our new students have a memorable, successful, and enjoyable time at Queen's, and that they will receive all the support they need. To give you an idea of what university life will be like for our new students, we will now play a few short videos showcasing all that will be available to them at Queen's. I'm Ellie Walsfold, I'm from Oxford in England and I'm studying history, I'm in my third year. I think Queen's is a really good university to come to because of the fact that it's a city and also a campus. Like, it's a very good mixture between the two kind of styles of university. Queen's is located quite close to the city centre, so it's probably about a 20 minute walk or a five minute bus ride. It's really not that hard to get around. I would go home back to England every holiday break. Getting back is actually way easier than I thought it would be. I think most of my flights return have always been around £40. But accommodation at Queen's, I think, has been really, really good for me. I chose to live in standard accommodation. I really love my course. History at Queen's has been amazing for me. There's such a range. I've been able to study American history surrounding slavery in America, and then also uh, the Great Famine in Ireland. It's a very, very wide range. The nightlife in Belfast is really, really good. Um, it's easy to get around, the cheap entry to places. Yeah, cheap nights, really. I've always felt very safe in Belfast. Since being at Queen's, I've attended politics society events, history society events, RAG charity events as well, just a range of different things which have all just kind of helped me make new friends and meet new people and learn different things outside of the classroom, which I really enjoyed. Also, Queen's has a film theatre attached to it, so there is uh, a cinema in there and then also a theatre where there's drama students putting on plays. I really loved living in Northern Ireland. I'm actually quite sad to be leaving. I've always thought it was quite easy to get around. I've visited a range of different places. I've also traveled down south as well, uh, traveled down to Galway and then also up around the Giants Causeway area. And I think it's just so beautiful. And also the people here are just so friendly. It's one of like the nicest places I've been. I would definitely recommend Queen's to anybody looking to want to attend a Russell Group Uni. It's different, it's out there, and it's also a little bit of an adventure. You're travelling away from home, getting a new life experience, and they've also got great courses, so I would definitely recommend it.
for all of you. It's one family sharing values, tradition, joy, fun, but also we want to be like a bridge between our culture and other cultures. To be at a Queen's feels like being in the family. I hope all students take the advantage of the opportunities along the way. And not before long, we will hopefully be able to celebrate in the Whipple Hall as they graduate from the university and take their place among the celebrated alumni of Queen's, including world-renowned Nobel Prize winning poet and writer Seamus Heaney, former President of Ireland Mary McAleese, inventor of the portable defibrillator Professor Frank Pantridge, and female inventor of the year and leading cybersecurity expert, Professor Maya O'Neill, who's also our current director of our Institute of Electronics, Communications and Information Technology. And this is to name just a few. I welcome you all most warmly into the wider Queen's family and look forward to the future as our new students start this wonderful journey together. I hope you find this session useful and I thank you for your attention.